Okay, hello. In this episode of Let's Talk Tactic, we'll do a dive into a strategy on how to hit B with Vipers as the main controller for the team. The following is the composition I picked for the attacks. Viper is the main controller, Perfect Jet, Reyna, Sova, and Sage. The enemy team will be a casual team you can find in any comp game. Sage, Omen, Jet, um, Reyna, Sova, a more traditional pick. So usually the defenders would have a wall down B2 to delay the to make sure that defense attacks can't get up B tube. It's a very strong wall. You destroy four walls to get up to tube. It's a very good intel piece as well. If they try to destroy it, you would know they're trying to take tube. And Sedge can just slow orbs underpass when they try to take mid to B. Omen smoke right here next to the tube. Cut off angle here so they could take control of mid and see if we try to push mid. Sova arrow a belt. See if anyone going belt or he could do it here to see if anyone going to the long entrance and Reyna he she could play aggressively on the ropes to sitting in mess or she just play around pipes or let's just say she plays around pipes okay for this strat the first up is we gotta for the attack is and I forgot jet gonna play long here watching long she can always dash back so she can take aggressive angle for intel so the first thing you should do as an attacker is to regain this line of sight or control this angle. First thing to do is to for Reyna to Lear. Reyna will Lear up high and it is important to heal it up high otherwise player can use objects around icebox to hide from the Lear. Let's be up high. Sova will then begin to do an arrow right here on the crane. Once the angle is taken, you can just stick an arrow straight into the crane. It scans anyone behind here, behind in this cubby that everyone's almost always forgot to check. It scans everything up down here as well. I'll draw for easier visualization here. It scans everything here up on top of green as well. Some people do play up high behind green there. It's a very strong arrow to gain your team's ground early on. Alright, just trying to get erase this if you let me. Okay, so next phase, they will move up. Reyna will be the entry move up to gain ground, so we'll move up with her. Viper will be around here to do her toxic screen. And her toxic screen is especially strong on B because there are many angles defenders can hold from. You could hold from snowman, or from top side, you could hold right here off angle, the 50 50 angle. You could hold in here, looking out. You can you can hold a lot of space with B, but this resolve a lot of the angles that you need to check, and ensure your team can get into sight with checking less angle. It will draw a line like that. Okay, maybe it's a bit too far out. That's top B. It goes through top B like that. What this wall does is it's completely blocks vision from Snowman. It also blocks vision from top side. The guys in top side can't see out at all. And also blocks the guy in mid to B try to pick that way. Jet at this point, she can go back. If she got flash, she'll go back. She got enough to tell she's one sole player here, so most likely you won't do a hero play. She can though, but it's most likely that she will try to retreat, pack the site somewhere, defend as the team rotate around going for help. And the team progresses on is where you take, try clear yellow first. It's when sights are smoke per se, smoke, vision cleared. Sage come out here, slow orb, make sure they can't push out of snowman. She can overkill it by wall here and then plant safely. Or other way you could do it without using the wall is to for Viper to pop her poison cloud right here. And this poison cloud can be reused on post plant. So where the plant will be planted on default, usually on plant on default right here. And at this point when stage one plant, there should be teammates around here. Wall the wall lasts for 15 seconds, so it will it will fade down around the time around the time the planter finishes plant. At this point we can just assume position and play post plant. 
Jet can try and go back with her teammates. Sova will already should be already watching flank just in case you're ready to push here. And mind me, Ice Bulk is a very easy map to flank. The usually even if you have a sentinel or flank watching sentinel, it's not very effective. Because there are two entrants here, you can go through garage or two here, Cypher only two trips. If he expand all his trips here, then he limits his trips to use somewhere else. And overall just the flank watching power it's significantly reduced on this map. It's almost always will be someone on the defender try to flank. And it's a big map, it's easier to pick out without getting punished and flank. So I will assume his flank position and this how it should look this strategy won't guarantee or win you a pick per se, but what it does is it's effectively allow your team to get in sight quickly and effectively and get the bomb down and play post plant and retaking can be hard since there's a smoke cloud here and this is where the the smoke cloud the poison cloud comes in huge when for post plant if the defenders try to go out and try to retake site say one player will try to tap the bomb and this viper can just throw her snake bite right here and pop her poison cloud open the the snake bite it's um, puts vulnerability on the enemy, and the poison cloud also deals damage. So it's double, 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 double burn at the same time. It can kill you very quickly. I've, I've successfully killed a lot of people this way when they try to go for the plant. And at this point, you just play post plant. And um, well, the reason the reason you should pick viper is that it's ice walk is very different from the map. It's there's so many angles that you need to pick and cubbies you need to clear. It's just that Viper can maximize value using one ability to cut that many angles. Whereas Omen or Brimstone, they need to use two or three smokes to completely cut off every angle and safely plant. And because I've already discussed the way the map layout, flank sentinels, flank watching sentinel power do fall off, so it's it's better to have a player dedicated to watching flank on this map. This is enough, like this setup is enough to watch the post plant. Two player behind yellow, two player out at green here, and one just, just watch flank from under here. You can see like the um, the legs of someone goes in when you crouch right here. There's like an angle you can, you can pick it. This is a very good post plant position and especially strong post plant hold pa um, bomb spike plant denial diffuse denial with the snake bite and okay so what i'll talk about is that okay this strat is good but what do you do on defense right because viper it's not omen you don't throw smokes you don't do anything like that so she could actually be a very good defender same idea you pop on B, you pop a poison cloud right here where they default plant and use camp snowman. If they try try rush on, I'm just gonna skip the strat here. Just they has gone inside. Try to plant. Someone tried to plant the bomb. You pop on the smoke and you throw a snake bite from you. You have an angle to throw a snake bite from here without getting picked or getting shot from right there. I've got two or three kills with this. It's cheeky. No one expects it. It's really good. And you can preemptively before round start, you can place a wall right here. It cuts pipes and it cuts um, this L part here of um, of the T heaven going down. What this does when the teammate asks for the wall is that you when you pops up, the guy at pipe he can't pick into sight using a head glitch pick. He have to jump up on top of pipes to pick and that actually leave his head open you can actually see his head and it's hard for the, because this guy is closer to the wall so it's harder for him to see out whereas someone like further away from the wall can see his head much much easier and it cuts in the entrance here making it a lot easier for the teammates to defend it as well to delay mostly because like with the wall it's different like with a smoke curvature it's the smoke is round so you can side pick it and it doesn't reveal your gun as much but since a war is flat 
when you try to go through, your gun will always poke through. You can always see the gun first. The defender can always see the front. First of all, attackers can, so very strong delaying tool. They would, if they, you should not push a wall. You can, you can do your Hail Mary and try to, betting that no one's watching it, but if there's someone watching it, you 100% will die. And, yeah, that's all I have to say about this strat I get. It's start to get to the 10 minutes mark, and I want to close this video concisely and shortly, don't get too long. I want to end on final with some weakness with um, this composition though. It is the strategy it relies heavily on Viper as a main as a main controller. She so it's really easy for your team to predict where you're going. So wherever you shoot your wall, they would know that's where you're gonna hit and they can preemptively rotate. It could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. You could you could condition them at the earliest. You always go to the wall and then you can mind trick them. You you throw the wall, but you don't actually go B. You pull the rotation, you actually go A. And that's... From from that weakness, it's also stem a a strength that Viper is a really good mind game agent. Not not many... She's the only agent in the game that can do a high level mind game like that. And another downside is that you have a um, dedicated player to watch flank. It's not really a weakness in this map because you should always watch flank with one player, even with Killjoy stuff or Cypher stuff, it's not that great at watching flank. And because of how limited the space there are to play post plants, you see how many people are comping up right here. It just it's fine for one player to stay right here and watch flank and while the rest they have space to move around and play post plant rather than just clumping up like if Slova plays here, it's it's very claustrophobic for the guy trying to play post plant. And I guess that's it for the video. If you enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe, all the, or join my other social to keep updated when I go live on Twitch, or if you want to join my Discord, follow my Facebook page and Instagram. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I hope I've helped showing some knowledge, some strategy you could use in your own game. And that's it for me. Peace. Have a good one.